This is tutorial 6-1 in the GIS Tutorial Basic Workbook 1, ArcGIS 10.3.x, and we're on page 220. And the first thing we need to do is open up a map document, and I've already opened that. This is tutorial 6-1 map from the Maps folder. Now we're on the top of page 221. Uh, we want to click on Bookmarks, and they have set a bookmark to Manhattan, which we can see most of right here, but the top part is chopped off and the bottom part is chopped off. So let's click on that. And when we do, it redraws the map with all of the Manhattan Island now visible. And it says save this, and we're going to do a save as. And we are, I'm not going to put it back in my exercises. I'm going to put it in my maps here. And I'm just going to put my name on the end of it. So 6-1. Dash clean. Okay, now what we want to do is um, we want to, we've got this huge map of, of New York City. We just want to work with part of it, so we're going to get rid of the data that we don't want. And um, so now we're on number one on page 221, and on the menu bar it says click selection, select by attribute. So let's go to selection here and do select by attributes. And so we're going to look for parts of the map that match a certain criteria. And uh, we want our layer to be neighborhoods. And we want uh, name to be the name of the field. So I double click on that. And that's part of my query now. And then I want to click on uh, equals or double click on equals, just single. And uh, get unique values button. And uh, so let's go here and click on Get Unique Values. And it gives us all the names of all of the uh, neighborhoods. And so what we want to do is we want to get uh, the Unique Values button. And we've got those. And then we want to select Lower East Side. So it looks like these are alphabetical or alphabetical. So Lower East Side, there it is. So our condition for selecting is select the neighborhood where the name of the neighborhood is Lower East Side. And let's click on OK. And now you see there's a blue border around the Lower East Side neighborhood. And now what we want to do is we want to click on Selection. And we want to zoom to the selected features, which is the blue stuff. So click on that. And now this is the... Lower East Side of Manhattan. Okay, um, so now what we want to do is go to page 222. And at the top of page 222, we want to right click the neighborhoods layer. And we want to uh, click data and export data. So let's go to data and export data. And um, now we want to save that, this neighborhood. Um, and we want to save it to, let me see, um, I want to go to my C drive here, and there we go, S repress, JST1, and we're looking for my exercises here, and chapter 6, and we want to pick that geodatabase and we want to call this Lower East Side with no spaces. And click on Save. And click on OK. And it says, do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer? And it tells us on number four that we want to say yes to that. So now we've got a new layer. And then uh, number five, symbolize the lower east side layer as a hollow fill black outline with two. So let's um, go here and double click on this, or just single click. And we want it to be hollow, and we want it to be black with a width of two. Click on OK. And... Okay, now it says um, 
Remove the boroughs and neighborhoods layers. You may now contain, your map now contains a new feature class containing only the Lower East Side neighborhood boundary. So we want to close neighbors, neighborhoods, and boroughs. So let's go to neighborhood and let's do remove. And let's go to boroughs and let's go to remove on this one as well. Let me, there we go. Okay, now we're on the middle of page six or uh, 322 in chapter six. And uh, we want to click selection, select by location. So let's go up here and click selection and select by location. And it says make selections as shown in the image. So we want to select features from, and we want to choose Manhattan streets. And we want to make selections as shown in the image. So the rest of the image says, um, Manhattan streets. Uh, this one should be Lower East Side and uh, intersect the source layer feature and we got all of those we can click on apply and then we can click on OK to close it. So now we got the streets showing through and now we're on number three on page 223 and uh, actually we just did number three we're on number four in the table of contents right click the Manhattan streets layer click data export data so I want the Manhattan streets and I want to do um, data, export data, and so we want to take that and uh, we want to go to the same place that we have before, and that is Chapter 6 GDB, and we want to call this um, Well, we'll just call this Manhattan Streets. I don't know if they give us a name here or not. And now we're on um, choose yes here. Now we're on number five on page 223. And I want to save the output feature class as Lower East Side Streets. So, um, I did not change that name. Um, but this is it right here. And I think if I click twice, I can get uh, lower east side streets. Okay, so I want to symbolize that with um, light gray lines, and we want to zoom in to this layer. Uh, well, we're already zoomed in, um, so let's do this with light gray lines. So let's do a light medium gray here, and click on width of two, click on OK. And that's what our Lower East Side streets should look like. And uh, in the Manhattan, or in the table of contents, move the Lower East Side streets below Lower East Side and remove the Manhattan streets layer. So we're going to remove the Manhattan streets layer here first. And then we're going to take um, the Lower East Side streets and we're going to move that down below. Okay, and now we can see both the streets and we can see the outline of the neighborhood. And that is the end of 6-1, so we'll stop here.